There's also a fascinating and potentially interesting political conversation happening where you have people on the left and people on the right who are looking at the images. And we can show you some of these images. This is from the Wednesday night protest where it looks like, as the police say they're out on the streets to have crowd control, it looks like a military operation. You have armored vehicles. You have police in camouflage and in these SWAT vests out there. And so now Claire McCaskill, Democrat of Missouri, she says she thinks too much police work has become like the army or like the military. Listen. After 9-11, um, in, in, a, in sometimes a knee-jerk fashion, we began equipping police departments with all kinds of tools that had not been typical of policing in this country. And maybe it's time to look at all of that and make a determination as to um, how effective is a show of what is military force in a obviously intensely emotionally charged environment like um, the people of Ferguson are facing. You know, Claire McCaskill there, Democrat, this is her home state. Uh, she's talking about essentially the look, that uh, how you have people out protesting peacefully. Uh, what does it feel like in your community to see an army uh, coming at you? And the interesting part is the conservative reflex over the years in these situations has been to defend law enforcement. But you have a number of Republicans, and I'm going to quote Rand Paul here, the senator for Kentucky, Libertarian Street, uh, who says this, when you couple this militarization of law enforcement with an erosion of civil liberties, Given these developments, it is almost impossible for many Americans not to feel like their government is targeting them. He goes on to say, given the racial disparities in our criminal justice system, it is impossible for African Americans not to feel like their government is particularly targeting them. Uh, so a bipartisan consensus, will something happen or will we just talk about this? I suspect we will talk about it for a while, but the conversation, as you note, is moving from both the left and the right. This is sort of the vestiges of the post-Occupy Wall Street days on the one hand, and then you have judicial reform coming from the right on the other. But Rand Paul's uh, op-ed on this was actually very different than where a lot of his party was. Some people spoke out about the arrest of reporters. One of his right. colleagues was arrested, um, and that struck them as over the line. But in terms of where Rand Paul went, that really was sort of a, a wake-up call to his party, I think, more than you've seen anyone else do. But I, I would say that you know, police hassling, arresting reporters is over the line. Uh, much more important is the treatment of the citizens in this community. Mm -hmm. I'm not right. minimizing the work of the brave reporters who are out there, too. Uh, but when you see these pictures, I mean, I, I think both have a point. If this is your neighborhood, right. yep. th this is your neighborhood, and you're out in the streets, and 99.9% and .9 of these people are out there peacefully protesting something that happened, what does he feel like? That's right. And this is a community, right, that has had uh, an issue uh, with race. I mean, right. it's a pre predominantly African-American uh, community. The police officers there are overwhelmingly white. I think there are three uh, African-American police officers. And so you have Rand Paul now emerging as the Republican race man, mm -hmm. uh, the only Republican, yeah. really, uh, to come out and say the words African-American right. and mention race uh, and talk about uh, the inequality in terms of the treatment right. that African-Americans receive in the criminal justice system, something that Obama uh, didn't do. Yeah. He was criticized by some for not uh, sort of uh, taking uh, or at least showing uh, yeah. some empathy right. with the That's African Americans right. who do see this through a racial lens uh, in the way that he did with Trayvon Martin's statement. But Rand Paul, I mean, fascinating and, and really taking a risk yes. in talking about race. Right. And a lot of the left criticize Rand Paul. They question whether he's genuine right. here because in the past he has questioned mm -hmm. the reach and the scope of the Civil Rights Act. Uh, I think uh, let's just, you know, Let's see if he means it. Let's have yeah, the conversation, yeah. uh, see if he delivers and goes forward, because I do think it's a fa it's, it is, how often do we sit here in the morning and say you have Democrats and Republicans actually talking about something where they might agree? So we'll see where this one goes.